Welcome to Techno Dad Life, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on today's episode, we're going to be installing Cockpit, which is a simple program that will help us manage a couple different things. So our dockers, our virtual machines, and even our users in one little handy program. And if you find this video helpful, make sure you like it. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. And here we go now. Okay, so let's get started. So we're gonna be installing Cockpit and I wanna show you something first before we get started because this will we'll be able to use Cockpit to fix this. So we're gonna go back up here to our updates. You can see we have a lot of updates, but we're not gonna update that right now. So first thing we're gonna do to install Cockpit, we're gonna go to Shell in the Box, Web Clients, log in as root, and our password okay and so next thing we're going to do is uh, install kvm and so kvm is a virtual machine program and so for this we're going to type in app dash get space install space vert inst space qemu dash kvm space qemu dash utils hit enter and then hit yes Next, we're gonna type in clear, and we're gonna make this a little bit bigger. There we go. So next, we're gonna type in app-get space-y space install space cockpit space cockpit-docker space cockpit-machines space cockpit-package kit space cockpit-stored and hit enter. Next, we'll type in clear. And then finally, we're going to start cockpit. So we're going to type in systemctl space start space cockpit. Hit enter. Okay, and now we can exit this. And so next, we're going to go up to our address here and we're going to backspace and we're going to type in 9090 and then hit enter and then click advanced and proceed and so here is the login for cockpit so next type in root and your password and then log in and so now you can basically see what's happening on your system i'm running this in virtual box and so it says all about virtual box here if we go back here, it says I'm using two cores, how much memory I'm using, disk usage, network traffic, all those different things. Gives you logs of what is actually happening. Shows you different things about your storage. And so here we can see I have five disks attached to my OMV virtual machine here. You can actually set up a RAID on this by clicking here. And it says no disks available because we have them used already. And you can actually make NFS mounts by adding them here. Next, we'll go down one and it has a list of our containers. And so you can see the CPU usage and the memory usage by the containers. And so I'll just show you how we would add a container. So over here on the right hand side, it says get new image. We would click on that. And so say we want to install Plex. We type Plex. And then it will give us a list of Plex containers. And so we'll just click on the Linux server Plex container at the top. And then click download. And now you can see at the bottom here it's downloading. And so we'll come back there in a minute. We can install virtual machines. So we don't have any running right now but what we would do is go over here to the top right click on create new vm and so say we want to create a virtual machine ubuntu and so here it has create a path to it and it's sort of interesting how it does this you have to do this three times to to get to it so first we'll go shared folders then our media and I don't have the Ubuntu on here, but then we would just click on that. Next, we would cl click on Conical. 
and then we would pick which image we would want and then uh, just click create and it will install uh, it will start that virtual machine next we can modify accounts and so we can click on an account and we can click on an account and delete them change passwords even add public keys and we can even add new accounts by clicking on new accounts here and we would just type in our user and password and then it creates next it has a list of services running and then the applications which is our virtual machines if we click on software updates it checks for software updates over our machine and here you can see it's actually loading updates that's why i didn't update it earlier and so there are all the updates available we'll get back there in a second and then finally there's a terminal so you can actually run terminal lands direct as root that way and so here we'll install all the updates and we'll do that so that's cop cockpit simple simple and sweet does a lot of different things in one little convenient program uh, i will probably be seeing more of that in the future and if you like this video make sure you like and if you haven't already subscribe and we'll see you next time bye bye